Hello, today we're going to be talking about dobutamine. Dobutamine is a sympathomimetic drug used in treatment of heart failure and cardiogenic shock. It primarily acts by working on by stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system. Dobutamine comes in a standard concentration in the vial of 12.5 milligrams per mil or can come in a premixed bag of containing a concentration of 1,000 micrograms per mil. Dobutamine is a synthetic catecholamine obtained by substitution of a bulky aromatic group on the side chain of dopamine. Dobutamine has a positive and negative isomer for beta and alpha receptor affinity. The negative isomer is a potent alpha-1 agonist, which is capable of providing significant vasoconstriction if given alone via the GQ receptor mechanism as shown in this cartoon. The positive isomer is a potent beta-1 agonist and alpha-1 receptor antagonist. The effect of the two isomers is mostly beta-1 favoring ionotropy over chronotropy without a significant clinical effect on beta-1, on beta-2 or alpha-1 due to a neutralizing effect of the positive and negative isomer. It also enhances the automaticity of the SA and AV node. The dosing for dobutamine is generally ranges from 2 to 30 micrograms per kilogram per minute IV. You would administer the drug during the maintenance phase of anesthesia after induction for, ion for ionotropic support. Dobutamine has an onset of action of 1 to 2 minutes. It usually peaks in 10 minutes and has a duration of approximately 2 minutes. It takes 2 minutes for half of the drug concentration to be distributed. So the T1 half alpha is 2 minutes. The T1 half beta is 2 minutes which means it takes two minutes for half of the drug to be eliminated and thus in 10 minutes greater than 99 percent of the initial dose is removed from the body. Dobutamine is eliminated by methylation in the liver. The metabolites are conjugates of dobutamine which are 3 O methyl dobutamine and are excreted in the urine via the kidneys. Our anesthetic indications uh, is for short-term treatment of cardiac decomposition that may occur after cardiac surgeries or in patients with congestive heart failure or acute myocardial infarction. Dobutamine increases cardiac output and stroke volume in such patients, usually without an increase in heart rate. Absolute contraindications are previous manifestations of hypersensitivity and idiopathic hypertrophic stenosis. Relative contraindications to the use of dobutamine are patients with hypersensitivity to sulfites related to the preservatives. Patients who cannot tolerate an increase in heart rate because of the ionotropic effects. Patients with pheochromocytoma because of the alpha properties. Patients with hypovolemia because patients may already be tachycardic from the fluid deficit. And lastly, patients with ventricular ectopy because of the increased sinoatrial and atrioventricular nodal automaticity.
Our reference for this for dopamine came from Anesthetic Pharmacology, Basics of Clinical Pharmacology, and Goodman and Gilman's The Pharmacological Basis of Therapeutics. Other references were from the web at www.nlm.nih.gov, www.medscape.com, and www.circ. AHAJournals.org. Thank you for your time and attention.